All right, so Ohio University is committed to carbon neutrality somewhere in the near future through the presidential climate commitment, which is to reduce our greenhouse gases as quickly as possible. And one strategy for achieving that is to buy carbon credits on the market. And carbon credits are essentially a way to purchase green energy or the benefits of green energy from somewhere that people are producing green energy and reducing greenhouse gas emissions. I would argue that Ohio University really has no other alternative. We cannot get to a point where we don't use fossil fuel energy anywhere in the near future, foreseeable future. And in order to achieve you know, dramatic reduction in greenhouse gas emissions, it seems to me that we will have to start purchasing some carbon offsets or carbon credits. So if we want to use our dollar most efficiently, it's far more efficient to buy carbon credits from someone who's installing solar energy in Arizona than it is to actually use those dollars to buy our own solar panels to try to reduce our consumption of fossil fuels. The trouble I have with carbon offsets is that I see them essentially as a modern day form of the medieval practice of indulgences, which was popular with the Roman Catholic Church at the time, in which people who committed a sin would get forgiveness through the confessional, and then there was a fee that they could pay on top of that to a local parishioner to basically absolve themselves of having committed the sin in the first place. And in a lot of ways, the whole concept of carbon offsets, though it has certain merits in our society, is leading people down this dangerous path of thinking that real changes don't actually need to occur. Because just like a lot of other things, we can essentially buy our way out of this problem. Now, the idea is that if we create enough renewable energy installations, ultimately we will be able to mitigate the creation of new fossil fuel installations for power, but that day has yet to come. And so in the short term and in the medium term, I see much more value in seeking ways to invest in reduction of energy use and reduction of real carbon than investment in carbon offsets. It's true that carbon offsets as a program or carbon credits can be abused, that you can select ways to generate these credits that really don't reduce greenhouse gas emissions or not in the very short term. And I agree with Sonia that as a system, there's potential for misusing it and generating credits in developing countries and all of those issues are there. But it doesn't mean that we really shouldn't use carbon offsets as a means to move money from where money is available to investments where we can make a difference. What we have to keep in mind is that what is ultimately going to change the essential nature and dynamics of carbon production on planet Earth is a cap and trade system. And a cap and trade system that will allow for um, a certain number of overall emissions and then it'll be up to the individual actors who produce those emissions to figure out the most cost-effective means by which they would like to reduce them. Essentially, as a society, we have to commit to a much more aggressive form of carbon reduction if we expect to have any sort of real success.